Hello and welcome back. I'm Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos and it is vlog day today. Now last week I got done with all those Disney tumblers for our trip and that trip is actually this week so I'm really excited for it. I don't know yet if I'm going to release a tutorial this week or not. I'm not sure yet. We will have to just wait and see. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> And also for my vlog for next Sunday, I don't know what's going to be in it really because I mean, I'll just be getting back home and everything like that. But if you guys are interested, um, I can just show you a little bit of what we did on our little mini vacation. If you would like to, if you don't mind, I will definitely do that. So you guys just let me know if that's okay with you guys. So I don't want to have to put off two videos, but if you guys don't mind kind of seeing me and my family out and about. I will definitely try to put something together for you guys for next Sunday. Now also last week I told you guys that I had purchased a tumbler. This was actually months ago and I knew it would take time because of the technique that was used for it. I knew it would take a little bit because it's a hard technique but I have it here with me and I can't wait to show you guys. So this is actually from Northern Rose. I don't know, um, Northern Rose, there we go. Okay, now she's been around for a while, probably as long as I have, and I've always been a really big fan of her. She, Kate, is just an amazing artist and, and does such beautiful things, but where I seen this, um, I wanna say Jessica Flynn had actually posted a tumbler that she had purchased for her mother-in-law, and I was like, oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. And she said who she got it from. And I was like, well, I got to get myself one. So, <laughs> so I went ahead and did that. So again, this was from Northern Rose. And this is what I got. Look at that. Look. Absolutely gorgeous. So it's like a, an ombre, a three-tone ombre. And just all the colors. There's lavender. There's like a dark purple there's like a champagne color and then I requested to have SOC put in the middle look at that just absolutely stunning I you know I've never tried a rhinestone tumbler but I can't even imagine having to place every single one of these little rhinestones I can't even imagine like and and this is a 30 ounce I got a big guy I got, I got a big old 30 ounce so but I am absolutely in love with this and it is so gorgeous. And I, I, and like I said last week, this was my Christmas present to myself from Jeff because we pick out our own stuff to each other. So this is my, my Christmas present, <laughs> but this is just absolutely gorgeous. So I'll make sure to put her shop down in the description box below. Description box. There we go. Description box down below. If you guys want to check out her shop and purchase something. I'll make sure to put that down there. Just so gorgeous. All right, well, there's a couple things I gotta, well, no, just, I, I'm gonna just show you guys one thing, but I got one thing I gotta work on with you guys. I really wanna try out those burst tumblers. So I wanna try that out with you guys. So we're gonna be doing that today and just a couple other little odds and ends as well. So I have my tumbler and I'm ready to wake up, prep these tumblers and slay all day. Let's do this. All right, hello, that's me. <laughs> yes, we know. <laughs> so I wanted to show you guys a little bit of kind of what I do during the week. Um, right here, I am actually gonna be taking photos of my glitter. I just use the same boards for my, as you notice. <laughs> I use the same backdrop for my tumblers and for my glitter as well. I just purchased these boards. You can get like scrap boards from pretty much anywhere. You can buy clearance boards. That's pretty much all I use. I, I knew I wanted something kind of neutral. So that's why I picked a gray. So that's why I did that. But it's a great base for the things that I do. Now, typically, I use my phone for everything. I The video you're watching, my phone is taking. But for certain things, like my glitter, I actually like to use my nice camera. Now, I use a Nikon P900, which, a little backstory on that. Um, Jeff actually bought that for me for Christmas. I want to say, oh my goodness, it's been a while. Like, 
years and years ago, like six plus years ago <laughs> is what I want to say. But he actually bought this camera for me because I was really into photography before I found tumblers and I thought that's the way that I was going to go was photography. So I didn't quite know, but I absolutely fell in love with this camera. I can actually zoom in on the moon. I mean, that's crazy. We have planes fly over sometimes and I can see the passengers on the plane. Like the zoom is insane on this camera. But anyways, I really love it. I don't know if you guys are into fancy cameras and stuff. It is kind of a learning curve trying to learn all the buttons and stuff, but it is a really fun camera to use and I can get really up close and personal pictures of my, my product without it looking distorted. I, I don't know how else to explain it, but that's how I get those really up close. You see my camera is like almost up on it. You really can't do that with your phone. So that's why, and that's, that's why I use my, my fancy camera from time to time. I don't use it all the time because like I said, phones nowadays really have that technology to where you can get fabulous photos and videos just on your phone. Like I'm blown away by that. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I can't believe that we have that much technology in our phones these days. Now I'm sounding really old. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, like, you guys know what I'm saying. You basically have a computer in your hands. When back when we were kids, what, we had to be tied to the house and, and take 15 minutes to log on to AOL. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, but this is just a little behind the scenes of me taking my photos. Obviously, I do a lot more, and I can't stress this enough. I am pretty much a one-man show. I package up your stuff. I bottle up your stuff. I label your stuff with a little bit of help from Jeff here and there and from the kids here and there, but it is pretty much me, guys, and I, it's stressful and all that, but on, like I said last week, I really wouldn't have it any other way. I absolutely love doing this, and I am so thankful for every single one of you. But it's already time to start thinking about the next Chaos Box, which will be dropping March 1st at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you guys would like to check that out, I think that's Tuesday, if you guys would like to get in on the next Chaos Box. Okay, moving along, we're going to start on this quote-unquote burst tumbler. I purchased the cat training tape. Don't show my cats. They would be very upset with me that I purchased this item. <laughs> but I bought these cat training pads. Um, that's what everybody's using, so that's what I'm going to use. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fold it in half. You want to make sure that you're very precise when you fold it in half because you can get two 20-ounce skinnies when you go to do this. And I mean barely get those two 20 ounces, so make sure you are really correct with what you're doing. I'm just going to fold it in half, make that, that crease down the, the center, and give it a cut. Now I want you guys to know this is not a tutorial. I don't do tutorials on things that I've done for the very first time. I like to do it a couple times and have a little bit more hands-on experience with things before I do tutorials. I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> but I'm just saying you know, they're really not that hard to use. So I feel like I can kind of voice it to you guys. And for the most part, you guys will probably be able to get it. You know, we got this. <laughs> but whenever you go to cut these on your machines, you want to make sure that you you face it with the blue side down. There's a blue side and there's a white side. The white side is the, cut, the side that you're going to cut. And you want to make sure that you actually place that, that blue a little bit over. And I should have cut it off because my wheel actually kind of got cut up caught up on it so you might want to cut the blue back like I said it's my first time <laughs> we're, we're learning together as we go here but this is what I did and I actually chose a design it was like this flamingo design I'll show you guys and I feel like maybe I cut, I found one that was a little bit harder to use because it, it just seemed a little bit harder I don't know maybe <laughs> but you see my blade accidentally got caught up on this very top here and that's okay we're just going to go, we're going to roll with it. It's going to be fine. I'm not worried about it. But you see, there's, see how close that was to the edge there. That's why you want to be very precise with your, your measurements. It was like right up on, almost right up on that line that I cut. So <laughs> I'm glad I really took the time to kind of fold that in half and make sure it was exactly how it should be. But I went ahead and I'm going to go ahead and trim back all this stuff. You can see where the template ends. So I'm just going to take, yeah, right there. 
I'm just going to take my ruler and go along it and just make sure that I trim all that extra stuff off. Now, when I said earlier that um, I felt like I picked something that was a little bit harder, I just meant by like all the stuff I had to do, but I think I made it harder than it should have been. <laughs> it cut perfect. And I'll, also, what I cut it on was the washi sheet side. So or just washi tape, that's what I used, and it cut perfect. It cut it like a dream. I mean, it was insane how easy this was to cut. Like, I, I am pretty impressed, and I, I do want to do a couple more before I do any type of a tutorial or anything like that, but it, it is so extremely easy to use, and I, I get why everybody kind of does this. Now, I am applying everything before I put on the tumbler because that's what I've seen, and it seemed like it was easier that way instead of being on the tumbler. And I found it was easier as well. So I don't know. I guess it's whatever you guys choose. If you want to put it on the tumbler first and then do your stuff. Or if you want to do it off of it. It really doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm just saying. It really doesn't. I Like I always say, there is no right or wrong when it comes to making art. Whatever you guys decide it, it should do or be or however you want to do it is exactly how it should be done. Don't. There's, there's no set rule to things. There's only inspiration you know, so I'm just saying. <laughs> so I actually wanted to foil some stuff, okay, and as you can see, I took my tweezers, and I'm using little silicone things, and I'm doing the outline of the leaves, Mo monstera, monstera leaves, anyways, I, I'm pretty sure that's not how you say it, but whatever. <laughs> I'm doing the outline of the leaves, and I did the flamingo's legs, and its beak, and the gold as well. And I guess Charlotte came out and wanted to say hi. You want to tell everybody hi? Can you say hi? Hi. Okay. Well, I'm in the middle of doing this. Okay. Why don't you go in? Can you can you go inside and have Daddy help you? Okay. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> I'll be inside in a minute, okay? Okay. Okay. Well, being a mom is 24-7. I'm just saying. <laughs> And that comes first before everything else. <laughs> All right, now that my little helper went back inside, now I'm just going to go ahead after I burnished everything down, I went ahead and peeled back this foil. Now, the reason, another reason why I didn't make this a, tu a tutorial, there we go, is because I didn't fully do my stuff. I tried to go back through and do as much as I could, but if you don't fully fill in the stuff, and accidentally leave any little gaps, uh, your glitters and everything like that will stick to whatever's exposed. So it didn't come out fully the way that I wanted it to, but it was still really pretty, you know? Now, if you guys see how I talked about earlier, uh, there was a little piece that accidentally got ripped, and that's actually the background. And so since uh, some of my gold, there we go, <laughs> got burnished in, and I was okay with that. So I came through and I actually burnished some more of my gold down into the background itself. And now I'm actually going to come through and put some of my sapphire. This is just a true metal or true to color metallic. And this is a navy blue. And I knew I wanted something darker for my background. But I know you guys don't know this, but my bedding, my <laughs> for my bed. <laughs> Um, it, it's actually kind of a tropical theme. It has like a dark navy background and then like every, there's like, you know, it, it almost looks like this, but without flamingos, there's not flamingos in it, but with the leaves and stuff. And I was kind of inspired by my bedding. So <laughs> that's kind of the colors that I went with, with for this. But it, it's so easy. All you do is you peel back each layer, exposing what you want, you know, the color that you want. I think the hardest part is just picking your colors. I, I really do. The hardest part of this is picking your colors because it, it is like kind of like, well, what do I do? <laughs> and I, I did miss a couple little things here and there. So I kept having to go back and peel stuff up and, and re-put some different colors colors down that I accidentally missed. See here, I'm, I'm just kind of peeling stuff up. But other than that, this was an extremely easy project. And another thing I forgot to mention, if you guys have never used this stuff, it is a clear backing. So if you use transparent glitters, the color of the tumbler will be exposed through that. So it won't be as vibrant as you're typically used to. So just keep that in mind. So if you want to paint your base, it's up to you. Or if you don't want to paint your base, that's up to you. But 
I mean, that that's just something you guys want to keep in mind if you want to give these a try. And also because they are meant for furniture, you know, to keep cats from scratching on the furniture. I'm also, <laughs> I'm pretty sure these people are probably like, wow, our sales have really went up. People really want to deter their pets from scratching on their furniture. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure they're probably like, what's going on? What, what's this all about? <laughs> and it's just us crafting ladies doing things. <laughs> that really cracks me up when I think about that. But I'll show you guys here in a minute. I applied it to my Tumblr and I kept having an issue because it kept sticking in places I didn't want it to stick. But I was able to easily kind of peel it back and readjust it. But it is very de delicate, so you just want to be careful when you go to do that. Also, I want to bring up the fact that Burst Tumblr is very confusing because... We have the burst tumblers where with the unicorn in the middle and then we burnish that down like we just did that. And so that and I always thought that's what it was. The glitter in the center of the tumblers and, it, and the chunky glitter in the center of the tumblers and coming out each side and then fine on the top and the bottom. I always assumed that was a burst tumbler. And now this is called a burst tumbler. So it's really confusing. I, I don't understand why this is called a burst tumbler. I don't know what it would be called other than that, but I'm just saying a uh, du uh, double-sided sheet tape tumbler. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I don't know. Anyways, this is a burst tumbler. All right, now that that's all done, there we go. I got my, my burst tumbler all done. Now we're ready to kind of put it on our tumbler and see how that goes. Okay, so this is a straight 20 ounce skinny and I'm like, there shouldn't be an issue. I went ahead and I made a line down the center of the tumbler to kind of help me out and guide me to tell me where I should put this, but I still accidentally kind of got stuck here and there in certain places and I kept having to pull it up. And like I said, as long as you're gentle with it, it does peel back with no problem. So <laughs> there I was, I peeled it back. Now I'm just going to realign that and I'm going to do it again. But once I finally got that all straight and how it should be, all you got to do is roll it up. There you go. And adjust everything to make sure it kind of lines up on the other side. And like I said, these were really fun to do. Now, you know, you could do these as just a little side project to see if you like it. Would I do this again? I, I think I will. So we'll just have to see what kind of designs I come up with and maybe keep it a little bit more simple with the glitters that I use because I think I used a little too many glitters for mine. <laughs> but I will have to finish, up, finish this up with you guys either next Sunday or the Sunday after that. All right. So now that that's done, I'm going to just kind of let that finish up and I have a couple more things I want to do to it. Um, I don't I don't think I'll be able to really show it to you guys uh, next Sunday unless I kind of put some together this week. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe I will kind of show you guys that next Sunday as well, along with some other stuff. But anyways, I have my tutorial. This is what I did on Friday. You guys really enjoyed that. I enjoyed making it so sparkly. I was really excited to be able to use every single chaos box color in this and I just absolutely love how that rainbow turned out through the middle so and these with the handle I just love it I have to I have to get some more this was my last one so I need to purchase some more <laughs> all right guys I think that's gonna do it for me for this week I'm really excited for our trip so we're just been planning that cleaning the house preparing for everything but <laughs> But I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, an amazing rest of your week, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.